Hey everybody, Phil here with CarCraft Classics. Special day today. Getting ready to show off maybe the nicest car we've ever had in the showroom. Came to us from, from a customer in North Carolina. This is an all steel 1930 sedan delivery. High, high end build. Uh, let me try to remember all the goodies that this car came with. Uh, of course, there'll be everything will be listed on my website at carcraftclassics.com. But again, as you guys know, I always like to do these little walk around videos just so you guys from out of town get a chance to really see the whole vehicle. Oh my goodness, this thing is gorgeous. Let's take a look under the hood real quick. So power in this thing down the road, which remember doesn't weigh very much, is a new Crate 350 uh, Chevrolet motor. And you see this, some attention's been paid to uh, make this thing have a nostalgic look you see the Offenhauser uh, valve covers those are actually over those are covers that are sitting over the small block Chevy valve covers Edelbrock carburetor I think that's a 600 CFM it runs like a top electronic ignition HEI and what do we have here all chrome accessories we've got the chrome alternator and the chrome AC compressor, ice cold AC in this beautiful, beautiful car. Aluminum intake manifold. Down below, nice ceramic coated headers. Polished uh, overflow for the radiator, which is a brand new Walker, I believe, radiator with electric fans, runs nice and cool. Down there, you'll see the chrome pulleys. This car is not only show ready, this is a show winner. You're going to make a lot of guys angry if you pull up in this thing. It's going to be hard to beat at the show. So it has power disc brakes on all four corners, but it does not have power steering. But, you know, it has the power assist. It's got the Vega steering box in it. So uh, it's tight, uh, and it's not hard to turn at all. And it's just not really a big vehicle that, that would be too hard to turn. But... Let's take a look at the rest of this beautiful vehicle. So this was this is a 1930, like I said, Ford sedan delivery now, but it was born a 1930 uh, Ford Tudor sedan, which was the two-door, and it was uh, recreated into a sedan delivery, which is nice. I'm not sure why they did that originally. Uh, the build was done down in Florida, but it seems to me like they did that because they wanted to make more room for the inside the cab you know most of these cars is very hard to get in and out of very hard to forget the back seat you can't even get in there but now that they made this into a sedan delivery you see they replaced the glass with some sheet metal back there uh, what they basically did was they added to the room inside and now the seat can slide all the way back where they have it mounted there there's room back there for storage but yet the driver and the passenger aren't so cramped like a lot of people are in these 30s vehicles. One of the things about this car that I love so much that are so that is so impressive is you look at the gaps on the doors. They almost never lined up on these old 30s vehicles, these open wheel cars, hot rods. But these do, they paid attention to that detail and the doors just open and close like butter. Everything lines up and seals well. So again, they made this into a sedan delivery added room in the cab made the look super cool and they took this all steel body and they sat it down onto a uh, a 32 Ford frame uh, custom made aftermarket frame by a company up in I believe in Wisconsin called JW Rod Garage and so what you have is a boxed 32 frame with all this cool tubular uh, bracing underneath and We'll get the car up in the air a little later and we'll take some still shots of the undercarriage so you can see it. Really nice work, super clean, high-end frame, which fits with this high-end build. You got rocket wheels front and rear, I think 15.8 in the rear and 15.6 up front with BFG tires. Another custom upgrade on this vehicle. Uh, you can see, for those hardcore guys, it's got the 32 grill. It's got the steel housing with the stainless steel insert. The entire front end 
which is at Pete and Jake's aftermarket front end that tracks super well. This car goes down the road super straight, no vibration. You can see that drop axle up there, that four inch, I believe it, it is, uh, drop axle on the Pete and Jake's front end. Everything chromed. It's got the old factory style um, leaf spring. I believe they call it that a suicide leaf spring. Got everything up here, the shocks, the hairpins, everything chrome. It's allergy season, so you'll have to put up with my sniffling. I apologize, but if you look down there, what you'll also see is there's a steering damper. These open wheel cars can get a little squirrely at high speeds, unless you have a Pete and Jake's front end and a steering damper, though. But this thing tracks super well, like I said. All right, so again, it's got the uh, Chevy small block motor up front. Angry little small block, we'll let you hear it in a minute. And it's made it to a 700R overdrive transmission. So you got those four speeds, goes down the highway with no problems. RPMs, you know, the engine's not wound up, going 65 miles an hour. You can cruise this thing anywhere. It's got a Curry Ford or a Ford Curry nine inch rear end. 373 gear. As I mentioned before, it's got power disc brakes in all four corners. Dual exhaust. Show you that caliper back here. Not too sunny. Hopefully you can see that on the video. I'll let you peek under the rear end. Literally, we could flip this car over and have dinner on the top, on the bottom side. So again, not to be redundant, but this was not born with this rear door. This was not born a sedan delivery. This was created. And boy, did they do a great job. Henry Ford would be proud. Just like the side doors, this rear door has just been aligned perfectly. They shim this thing up and just, it's perfect. Opens and closes well. Nice custom interior. Timeless style. It's, you know, accents are not over the top. Super nice leather interior. You see those speakers flush mounted in the in the rear here. Nice new carpet. Nice new headliner. Get that cool accent around the dome light. What a gorgeous car. I think that's an 11 gallon fuel tank. And check this out. On that rear window, it's got a little crank. And lower the window down while you're cruising down the road. Nice spring day. Again, listen to this door. Unbelievable. What a sweet color too. Not over the top or too bright. I call it gentleman orange. It uh, it's a it's a base coat, clear coat, paint job. It's got some little pinstriping accents here, as you can see. Again, she came out of North Carolina. She's still got the North Carolina, Carolina plate on it. LED lights in the rear. I think those are 32 headlights up front. And again, getting back to the paint, beautiful job. Frames all painted underneath to match. And one of the other nice things they did with this car, uh, they put the Sunshine State, again, it was built down in Florida, Sun, Sunshine State Delivery Company here, uh, gold leaf accent. Uh, where the glass would have been when it was the two-door sedan and the nice thing they did is they put it onto a sticker and Stuck it to the car instead of painting it right onto the car or putting the gold leaf right onto the paint uh, Which means with a heat gun I can pull this right off of here and either put your company name or your family name or what have you Whatever you'd like I can put that right up on the car another super cool feature That they incorporated when they built this car Check out those ribbed accents going down that, that roof panel. I believe that panel right there was molded in. Uh, they cut it out of a 64 Chevy station wagon. Nice street rod touch that I've seen before. I don't know that I've seen it done this well. I mean, there's no seams, there's, there's nothing. I mean, they, they did such a great job. And, you know, even the drip rails were molded back in after they, they did the work on the side here to make it a sedan delivery. High-end build here. 
had to cost eighty, ninety thousand dollars at least to build this car. Got the nice visor. That windshield does pop out, guys. Just so you know, all you hardcore '30s Ford guys, that windshield does pop out. And again, this is the original body. This is a steel body. It's not fiberglass. I mean, I ask you, does it get any cooler than this? Hit me in the comments section. Let me know what you think of this car, please. And those are polished rocket wheels. Nice. Nice. Let's take a look at the interior. Fire it up and let you hear it. little small block and just the perfect motor for this car again custom interior door panels made to match in the gray with that orange or butterscotch color electric wiper motor got a little toggle switch down here get that wiper to work just on the driver's side of course is where you only need it got the cool banjo steering wheel with the Ford V8 logo in the center leather wrapped custom dash pad put in <laughs> again the car does have vintage air and boy it's ice cold as I mentioned this is a 32 dash that they welded in here and then installed these beautiful vintage gauges which all work by the way Vintage air controls. Nice AM FM stereo with a CD player. That's the toggle for the for the wipers. Indicators down there on the dash for the blinkers and your bright lights. Really, really, really nice build. Take a look back there. Wrap around custom interior. Gosh, this thing is gorgeous. Yes, it has seat belts for my friends overseas that need that. <laughs> custom car builder. Smokey Ingram, personal friend of mine from here in Cumming, Georgia, once told me, you can tell about the quality of a build by just looking down the drip rails. And as you can see with these, straight as an arrow. Gorgeous. So that's our 1930 Ford sedan delivery. I've seen these cars on the internet with asking prices of $125,000. And to be honest, I don't blame people because I know what it costs to build a car like this. And they don't all have all the goodies that this car has. This is the, uh, the definition of turnkey. This car needs absolutely nothing. Get in it, drive it anywhere, go down to the show and ruin all your buddies' afternoons. Uh, they thought they were cool until you pulled up. You know, one of those things. So anyway, I've seen them priced anywhere from $125,000 down to, you know, $35,000 with the fiberglass bodies. So we're going to price this one right in the middle. We think it's more than fair. Asking price is going to be $59,900. If you're in the market for a 30s Ford high-end build and you don't want to spend $90,000 building it, give us a holler. I'm telling you, you will be pleased with this vehicle. Not only looks good, but it's built well. It goes down the road, it's not rattling. Acceleration, as I mentioned before, is real sharp. 
The brakes are great. Beautiful car. Again, the asking price is going to be $59.9. The still shots will be on my website at carcraftclassics.com. I can be reached at 770-317-1415. Again, that's 770-317-1415. Or carcraftclassics at gmail.com. You can just email me if you'd like, maybe to make an offer or if you have any questions or you need any other shot. You know, if there's a part of the car that you want to see that I missed in the picture, just let me know. I'll be glad to help. Keep in mind, we can also help with uh, professional delivery as well as financing. Carcraftclassics.com is the website. Once again, have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching our video. God bless America.